Hi, it's Ryan from Nights Around the Table, and this is my lovely wife, Cheryl, and we are camping. Cheryl encouraged <laughs> me to take more videos that aren't in my dank, stagnant basement. It's not dank or, no, no it's, it's not. It's quite a nice basement. <laughs> but uh, so here we are in the great outdoors with a video that we're calling uh, Five Best Games to Take With You Camping. But I have to qualify that in several ways. So first of all, we, I don't know about you, but I have not played all of the board games in existence in the universe. So to narrow it down a little bit, this is five games from our collection that are good to take camping. And then to further qualify it, I'm gonna throw it over to Cheryl because this is her video, it was her idea. So this isn't even a list of my picks. This is gonna be Cheryl's favorite games to take camping from our collection, right? So the, the funnel is getting even narrower. And then you let me know before the video started, this isn't even like a like an list from five, four, three, up to one. This is just five games. So we're not gonna- Random. Yeah, we're not gonna end with the best and start with the worst or anything. These are just five random games from our collection that we like to take camping. Yes. So I, I just wanted to manage expectations right off yes. the top. So nobody and, goes- And not my favorite games of all time necessarily, right. just- Yeah, exactly. Because there are lots of games that yeah. you like to play that take out way more table space. And, Much you know, more you know, table so. space. Yeah. So anyway, the good news is that you're seeing this video and we have not yet been et by bears. Uh, but the day is still young. This is our last- Mostly it could be raccoons more than bears. Yeah, more raccoons, which are At kind 4 of like miniature yeah. bears. If yeah. you hear sounds of civilization all around us, by the way, if you hear jet skis and airplanes, it's because the style of camping that we do is just short of the TV wouldn't fit in the car. So <laughs> we have electric hookup and we're recording this video uh, with one microphone like complete savages. So if the sound is a bit off, that's what's going on. So it's like as primitive as can be with the professor making coconut radios and one microphone and here we, we're gonna do this thing. Yes. So Cheryl, what is number five? Blender is number five. So I brought it because uh, it is actually one of my favorite games. I, I, I don't know like top 10 necessarily, but it's it's a favorite. So I chose all of them because they they won't get wrecked when you when you bring them camping. Like if a piece falls in the dirt, then it, you know, you can dust it off and it'll be fine and you won't be like broken up that you've ruined your favorite board game. And what are the pieces in Splendor that don't really get so, wrecked that much? I'm gonna just open it up. up. Oh, sure. So all you have are these nice thick plastic chips, which mm. if you drop it in the dirt, you're gonna find it. And carts. So, That's probably maybe the weakest link in the whole yeah, thing, right? Yeah. The wind could be a problem. Maybe not at the beach on a windy day. <laughs> uh, I don't think I would play this at the beach. I'd play this at the campsite. Right. Um, and then nice thick cardboard goal cards. You know, those are pretty good. And we haven't so, sleeved those cards, but I'm sure if we did, it would be even more resilient again. For sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We'll put that one back. So uh, I love this game. It's nice and quick. I like that, you know, if you've been super exhausted hiking or if we've been canoeing that we couldn't this year because you know stupid covid uh then uh you know but you just want to play a little game this is great or after dinner before the fire game fantastic good pick what's number yes. four okay so i brought cat lady <laughs> which is a ridiculous game but i brought this one specifically because our kids don't always want to play games um but i can always get them to the table to spend time together playing cat lady they just adore it because we all love cats and I really, is, and it's simple and they like simpler games more than more complex exactly games. yeah and again it's uh it's just cards right. and cubes which aren't going to blow away and you can find and it doesn't take up a whole lot of real estate on the table either. yes but again, so if you've got like we do like tongs and you know cutlery and you know maple syrup on the table waffle like, irons you yeah. know that's how we camp and this is this is here i'm gonna put <laughs> that much. back in the box but this is the thickness of the deck so if you wanted to sleeve that you wouldn't be breaking the bank no just leave it. it's about how many cards would you see in there i don't know i'd say about fifty thousand. Fifty thousand, maybe a hundred yeah possibly <laughs> but again i'm bad at estimating Rick, okay, what fantastic. is number three? Number three, I'm gonna go with this one. So, I brought this one specifically because it's two player and I brought a couple two player because sometimes I just wanna spend time with Ryan. Um, but this one I brought specifically because I'm not very good at it. Ryan's played it a whole lot more than I have mm. and he kicks me butt every time and I, I really hate that. So I wanna get better at it and maybe kick his butt one time, so. Now, uh, and, the, and again, it's it's, 
it's cards. No, you're saying what? Well, of all I was going to say, of all the games that you've recommended, I think I this mean, is the most unwieldy one. So yes. to take a look at the components, you have this nice thick card board, which is fine, but then a you little have token. a little token. But you can that's find it. That's plastic, that's cool. Then you got a bunch of cards that you have to lay out in a little tableau. That's where it gets a little bit Be twitchy. careful of wind. Yeah, wind's going to be a problem, and you're going to have to find a, just sort of a smaller card size in order to sleeve it so it's not a standard, you know, playing card size. Yeah. Uh, so th but yeah. if you have a nice dining tent like we do, then... <laughs> sure. She says that by way of <laughs> bragging about this dining tent that no, she just bought. I, no, I just... <laughs> It cuts down the wind. Number two. So I really do like this game. Uh, it was my birthday present, or not birthday, uh, Christmas present Christmas, this year. Yeah. It's actually awesome for camping because again, it's another deck of cards. So you're seeing a theme here. A lot of them are just cards. And then everybody has their own sheet. This one's already pre-filled out, sorry. And so you just need your sheet and a pencil. So it's really not very many components, which is fantastic. And it goes up to a high player count. We usually camp with a bunch of different friends. Uh, uh, there's usually yeah. six adults and six kids. Um, not so much this year, but it's one that we can play with a big pile of people, which is really nice. Now, it one says drawback. one to a hundred. It does. You can. It's kind of like bingo, right? One drawback, though, of Welcome To is that you can't really play it when you're kicking around on camping chairs around the campfire because you need yes. a stiff-backed thing to put behind your your, your paper, right? And yeah. everybody needs a working pencil, which is kind of... I would say table only. Yeah, it's a table only game, I yeah. would say, but a good pick anyway. Number and four. number one in no particular order. Remember, no particular order. Number one is what? Number Name the game, one. tell okay. us. Fox in the Forest. Yeah. Also, again, cards. It's yeah. another card game. We have actually played this uh, on the beach uh, in previous years. On a, uh, on a table on the beach. On a ta yeah, picnic <laughs> table on the beach. Um, we played it in the water. It's a, well, know, while the kids were swimming. Let's take a look at what's inside. It's a two-player game, so... So you have cardboard chits and cards. Now, this is interesting, too, because I keep saying, oh, you can sleeve it, you can sleeve it, and Please. I haven't sleeved any of them, but this one... You did, because we brought it to the beach. Mm-hmm. But more so, like, I will sleeve a game. I very rarely sleeve games, but what turns the tide is when the game is is so reliant on you not knowing the next thing that you're going to pick up and if there's a slight nick or scrape in the card that gives it away it blows the whole game right it gives right. the whole game away so that's why i really wanted these cards to be protected because it's that kind of game so yeah i brought that one also because it's another two player so i brought two two player games specifically just so i could you know hang out with ryan uh we brought other games as well but uh we don't generally bring heavy games camping just because... No. Now, this isn't the sequel. This isn't Fox in the Forest Duet. Did you know that there was a second one? No, I did that not. They made? I'm not sure what the difference is, whether the duet is cooperative. I don't know if you want to jump into the in the comments below because uh, we've just run out of internet data and I can't check Board Game Geek to find out about that game. But if you want to leave yes. a comment uh, in the comment section below and tell me all about Fox in the Forest Duet or indeed what your five favorite games to bring camping from your collection or if you were to be sent wild in your friendly local game store with unlimited credit and just pick up what you want, what would you grab if you were headed off to a camping trip deep, deep in the wilderness where you have to walk at least two minutes to Someone's get... Someone's blowing up an air mattress. <laughs> to get to the bathroom station with full hot and cold showers, which aren't running because of COVID. No, they're not. COVID. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, if you want to tell me in person, I won't be there right now, but of course, if you follow the link at the bottom of your screen, you can join me and Cheryl and a bunch of other really nice people who talk about board games on the Discord server, and I look forward to meeting you there. Uh, otherwise, thanks so much for... Oh my god, Cheryl, it's bear! No, it's not. <laughs>